Hello everyone, welcome back to an episode of City Bus Manager with me, Tops. Um, it's now Monday morning. All the buses are back in. I've repainted uh, all of them. I fixed them. I've repaired them, washed them, filled them, all that ready for a new service day. If I just pause it here, we can have a look at our bus routes because... We should now have all our bus routes added that are all Blackpool Transport routes. Uh, 1, 2, 2C, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6, the 7, the 9, 11, the 14, the 17, and the 18. Now, I found out yesterday, I uh, found out, uh, not yesterday, I found out last episode that the line 20, as of November 2022, which basically, if I just zoom out, where are we? Uh, it starts off over here at a caravan park. It goes to the zoo, which is here, um, and then goes to the, to the tower, which is here. And then obviously it goes back that way. Um, no longer runs. Oh, the line 20 actually goes up this way through staying in and that way as well. So it goes staying in uh, up to here to the hospital to the thing and then round to Stanley Park and then to the town and back. That is no longer in service, which was the line 20. But upon doing some research... Um, another bus company that uh, started in Blackpool a few, well, I say a few years ago, at least 10 years ago, uh, was Coastliner Buses, now Transporter Bus, has a line that covers a similar route, which is from here, uh, from the Holiday Park, the Caravan Park, to the zoo, to the town and back. They also have one that goes from the zoo, from, from the Coravan Park, to the tower, down the prom to the Pleasure Beach, and then back. So that's like a circular that way, and this one, the other one goes there and there and back that way. Uh, so we will be adding that, implementing them. Um, but yeah, we've got every every service, which is quite a lot. Um, I have had issues expanding the map if we go into research. Um, at least 30% bus coverage which I think I have, but we might need to get more, which means I'm going to have to add the transporter buses. So there's four transporter buses, which are the line 21, 22, 24, and 26. There's also three stagecoach buses that are covering the Blackpool area, the 42, the 61, and the 62. Uh, there's another transporter bus of the 72. Uh, and then there's also Blackpool transport buses of the 74, the 75, um, and then two Preston buses, which are the 76 and 78. So they're ones that we're going to be adding in the future. Uh, as you can say, we're currently minus nearly 200,000. That is because I've been doing some work on the officers. So if I just go like this so you can have a look. We have... Oh, we've got a lot more things coming because I'd started moving these about. Um, yeah, we have expanded the what's it called the service center to allow for more customers to be fulfilled so beforehand we only had that many desks and now we have 15 so i think we added five more uh i made this um kitchen area a little bit bigger bigger toilet area there as well because we've got a lot of staff um I've manoeuvred this around here. I've got rid of the paint shop because we don't need to paint any more buses. If I'm buying new bus, buying any more buses, I'm buying them brand new. And we'll just literally be putting them seven there. Which I don't know if they're going to be long wheelbases, double deckers, or the short wheelbases. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to purchasing them. Um, so obviously I've manoeuvred these around. So all these are here. We have a nice little office set up here. I say an office set up. A nice little conference room kind of thing with a printer and a light in the corner um i'm saying this is going to be where all our if we're going to be hiring new employees when we when we hire the new employees to come in here and have a little um that's the interview room this is the conference room obviously for when we're training all the new bu new bus drivers and everyone else up they get in there uh that's that's for that um 
We then have a nice little seating area over here for the staff members. They can just sit down, get something from a vending machine and have a seat. So this is kind of like a canteen area. We also have another kitchen over here, which isn't prop very well utilized, but with another seating area, a few books for them to read. Uh, we have a printer room because obviously every, all good offices have a printer room. This is our archive room. Can't really do anything else apart from bookshelves in it, but you could imagine obviously all of our tax returns and uh, bus ticket sales and all them are all sorted in here. Uh, we have another toilet system over here. So obviously you've got the toilets, a sitting area and a kitchen. We're right next to a massive, and I mean massive, um, room with everyone in there. And as all our buses are going out. Um, so this is basically a massive locker room for all of our staff to have to go to their lockers when they need to. Uh, we have our two different two working offices here. So obviously all the signing desks, the people when they um, what's it called when they're looking at um, doing research. These are what the offices they use, or if they're also doing solo uh, training, they can come in here. Uh, which leave us to our last office, which is here. Um, I thought I'd do a little library area, so you can go and grab a book, go and sit down, have a nice relaxing rest while you're not working on the buses. Um, so that is all the buses done. That is all. That is this all done. I also extended this a little bit to fit more boxes in, uh, as you can see, more boxes going in here. Uh, there's obviously the door, different doors for different people to go through. Um, but yeah, a lot of our fleet are now heading out for the day um, to go on to the services as, as things slow down while it's going saving. But I've got all the buses painted, which is absolutely amazing. And we've got every bus route working. Let's have a look at the bus route. So utilizations this early in the morning is not many. We have some buses. Are you already on a bus route? When did you start? You must have started very early. Have I messed up a bus route there for the line six? Yes, you start at 4.30, should be starting at. I start at 4.30. Don't know. We're gonna move you up to five. And hopefully that doesn't mess up the yeah, the previous times. So it's every 45 minutes until that time. So there's two buses. This is every 20. Oh, that one there is a not not, not good. So we'll knock it down to the 540. Knock this down to 540. And then this one starts at 540. So that's in line with it all. So I don't know why that one I'd had set weirdly. But obviously that'll start tomorrow. The line three and the four, we're not gonna be able to change the buses. That's what the buses are gonna go to. But we have all the bus services running now, um, which is nice. Some obviously start up up here, some start up. So they've got to the start of this network area. I think I started these. They started at this area as well. So that's nice. Um, and we're basically just going to see how long or how much we can make in the first day. So obviously I've had heavily investments uh, over the last few days. That's quite a lot of... So that was getting all the brand new buses there. Uh, today, obviously, we've had people we've sent on training. We've had construction costs. Um, we've got a, a lot of loans as well we need to repay. Um, but as this is all going through, we hired some new bus drivers. So we now have 160 bus drivers, which should be plenty. We've got 201 staff members all together, um, which is equal to the amount of we've got here. Um, I literally cannot employ more because we don't have enough office space any to hire any more. Um... But we should be fine with what we've got. I could basically just make an office section here if we needed to hire some more and then just delete it because for some reason the game doesn't think about that. 
Uh, but obviously, we don't have any more lockers for them to, to utilize anyway. So that's all that there. And we're perfect. We're getting to the start of the day, and we're already going into... Make, well, technically making a profit on the day soon. Which is incredible. Let's have a look at our details. So we're having, we're over a four star, which is what I'm liking. Our service centre wait time is hopefully we're going to fix. And there are not enough seats we're going to fix as well today. Um, obviously, service centre wait times, it opens at eight o'clock. So we're, everyone's getting in line. There we go. There should be everyone coming in. There we go. Should have one more. Perfect. And now we have customers coming in and flooding in. I'm just hoping that we can keep on top of all these because we want this to be a lot better than it was. People are just coming in and going straight to them, which is great. There's people coming out before people, more people are going in, so there's not that much wait times. Which is absolutely great. They're all just coming in and going out and stuff. We're getting so much money. Wait times will be coming down then. Perfect. How is our bus routes looking? So the line three and the four are packed. Everything else is fine. Obviously the line 18 is single decker as it is in reality. Same with these two there, still so, um, the single decker's short wheelbase. And everything is working out pretty fine. Um, obviously we wanna be able to turn a profit before we can start implementing the new buses. And I also want to make sure everyone's loving this and getting five-star reviews. Larger buses would be happily used on the Line 3. I know you want bigger buses on the Line 3. Cleanest buses so far. This is great. Um, yeah, so obviously people would want bigger buses. We can't do that because we're trying to keep to reality. Um the new buses that we will be implementing, the, the line 21, 22, 24, and 26, the 21, 22, and 26 are all double-deckers. The line 24 is a long wheelbase uh, single-decker, um, which actually goes the longest distance, I believe. So that one's going to be a, a full one to implement. But look at all the money coming in right now. We've already made 91000 on the day. And we're literally going to wipe out our investment that we've made today as well, which is absolutely insane. As all the bus routes are hectic and crazy. So the 21 is similar to the line one, where the line one goes all the way up to Fleetwood. The line 21 starts in Cleveland's, but it starts at Cleveland's bus station and runs all the way down the prom to St. Anne's and back. So the line one used to go Fleetwood to St. Anne's, but obviously, like I said, and it's somewhere around 2014, 2015 area, I want to say. Um, they stopped doing that. Or oh, it used to be the odd bus. So like one bus would go and then, and then the next one wouldn't, but the one after that would. Um, so the 21 is going to be implemented on that route. The 22, like I said, will be the one, the first one from... I believe it is here. It's like a little turnaround. So it'll be from here all the way to... Uh, literally, it'll be a one bus stop here. One bus stop at the at the zoo, which if I'm thinking right, it's here. Uh, and then the next bus stop from that will be uh, the tower. And then it'll literally go back. So there's literally three bus stops on the Line 22 route. Uh, the Line 22, when it first implemented, was the Catch-22 route. Um, it started off at Mearside Tesco. Um, and it went a similar way this way, down to here, up this way, uh, all the way through up to uh, Cleveland's. Uh, via the trans uh, the college um but obviously since then that company that originated that had that the catch 22 system uh had some legal issues it got bought out by transporabus uh which is now running the ser the series as coastliner and obviously the 22 has been redeveloped into that um system there um 
the 24, if memory serves me right, starts up at Fleetwood and it goes th round the houses at Fleetwood uh, to Poulton. Uh, now, there is actually systems in place for... Or they they are actually saying... Uh, and th th there's two at night that goes from Poulton to the hospital. However, like I say, from March, they will be running the line to the hospital and then to the town centre. So we're going to implement the new route as if it had already been implemented uh, instead of having to start it all off and then uh, change it from that. Uh, then we go to the 26th. The 26th, like I said, will be from from here. The from here, the first bus stop is literally the tower. Then it goes all the way down the prom to the Pleasure Beach, and then for some reason it goes round. Where are we? To here. Is it? No, to here. There we go. Uh, and then it utilizes Yidam Way to get itself all the way back this over the way back over to here. We will see which route the bus actually takes because we're gonna just literally let it go its let it go its way. Um add in, install the bus stops and let it go its way. We're making profit on the day. Like I said. We're making 191 profit on the day. 191,000 profit on the day, sorry. Uh, obviously, we've had previous days where we've had 300 and odd thousand in a day. That was five days ago. So, maybe we might end up hitting that today. We will see. But the bus systems are going. Everything's on route, on systems. We've got buses coming in, going out. Um, as for buses, all the buses that uh, are implemented, we have... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen double deckers that need to be utilized. So, with that being said, we're going to go straight in and install the line 21, which will mean starting up at Cleveland's. So, the 21 goes a weird route. Um,. New route. Line 21. Start here. So, the actual route it goes is this way into the town centre, down the prom. However, it goes back up this route. Uh, I want to implement it into the original line, to the already existing line, because it literally stops nowhere down there. So, I'm just going to run it that route. Um... Yeah, from here it turns off and goes this way and then into the bus station. But we're going to run it the original route or the briefly edited route just to add the extra bus stops in. Um, I believe it runs every hour, but we're going to put it every 45 minutes um, just so it implements the buses... The bus stops. Um, we'll see how long the bus that the route will actually take before we implement the times. Um, we will turn into here over there. Uh, keep going southbound. But yeah, we're gonna alter the route slightly from the original. Just so it makes um, a little bit more sense for the which way it goes. Okay. So we're literally just going to go below all this round here. I can't even see this colour, so let's go there. No, why are you going to there? I want you to go there, then to there. Then will it go to there? No. So we'll delete that one. It goes the right way. Perfect. And we literally just follow this all the way down. And... 
Where are we? So it would actually stop here, but I'm going to take this bus stop out and take it this way to go back around. No. Let's go there and then round there. No. There we go. And then it goes back up. Um, the original line one, I believe it turned up here or one of these two, uh, but just for ease of utilization of turnaround point, it goes, it, we put it this way. Um, there, there's not a bus stop behind there. And then we follow this back, right back up. Uh, it shouldn't take us too long. There we go. And we literally just have to follow all this back all the way up again. So I don't actually know where the turnaround point is for this bus because I've never ridden this bus. But I'm utilizing, like I say, a similar system in St. Anne's to how the Line 1 used to go. Um, but obviously it's not the original route the Line 1 went when it went down that way. But it it turns around either way. And it just adds more coverage of bus stops as well, the way I've uh, implemented it. Okay. So, go into there just to carry on the trend of if it's going north, it stops there. If it's going south, it stops the other one. And we carry on. Like I say, we're going to see how long it will take for this bus to actually do a, a whole loop before we figure out what timings of the bus we're going to use. Just so it makes a lot more sense in the timings of where it goes. This will be a double-decker, uh, as the 21 is a double-decker. They usually... so. In the past, they used uh, the old Route Masters um, as, as, because they used to be classic buses because uh, it used to be classic bus north-west that were a system a service that run ran the 22, the 21, and so on. So they used to use an old Route Master. Uh, they also have um, some open-top buses as well. Anyway, like I say here, it would normally stop here and then go all the way around to Cleveland's bus station but we're going to follow it round um, and just utilize these extra bus stops to get the coverage because um, I have actually f done some research on this game and if bus systems use the same bus stops, um, then your digital bus travelers or customers will actually switch buses if the bus times to so say this bus will uh, say the line three parks here uh at 20 past and then the 25 25 minutes past it's the line 21 uh to carry on their journey they'll swap and uh, there um well that's that bus system sorted so let's do that and pause the time while i have a look here so it actually, this bus service only actually starts at about 7. We're going to start it at 5.50. And we'll run it till, nine, till 10. Let's have a look, see how long it will run. It's about two hours. Um, where is our first timing point, which is Best Buy? So we'll do five, so then it's half past. Our next turning point is, I think, Subway. This Subway. So we'll let it go to to 60. Um, going back down to here, we'll let that go to 90. So then it'll have five minutes at the end. So if we run them every... 45 minutes that literally be that should be about should be two buses on it and this bus literally just runs every day at the same frequency so 
weekday. That is literally the bus that how the bus runs. Um, so it runs every forty five minutes. So that means when this one gets to the end, it will be seven forty five, and it will start at eight fifty eight uh seven forty five. Hang on. So if it's finished at eight thirty, it'll be eight. Right. What if I do it every thirty minutes? So that finishes at seven forty-five, and it'll start at seven fifty. Perfect. That's exactly what I want then. So we'll run it every every then. That means it'll be four buses on the on the network, which is fine. And then the last bus finishes at what's to midnight. Which is great. And that'll literally be the, how the bus system runs every 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 day. Uh, in fact, Saturday and Sundays, we run it every 30. But instead of it starting at 5.50, we'll start at 6.50. Till there. Weekend. Got to make sure we do the right times. Add five. Add four at Subway. Then there we add three. Then it'll have five at the other time. Um, so Sunday times, it literally is the same. It just starts, like I say, an hour later. Um, confirm that route. It shouldn't add us to. Add, it shouldn't ask us to add any to that route. At the moment, we'll just play just to make. Sh oh, it does. It very much does. So let's get to the start of here. So bus people were just literally throwing in. Random people. And another random person. There you go. So apparently you won't work, so you'll go there. Right. So that's that bus implemented. We're 201,000 on the day so far. We've still got half a day left. Um... And with that, we can now implement the 22. 22, where are we? Just so I've got reference to where we are. This side. Yeah. So. Line 22. Give it a nice orange colour. So, it says nursery, but it's actually a holiday park here. Um... So that is the first bus, the first stop, second stop. So, yeah, I guess go that way. Whichever way it thinks is the best, it will just stick it and go that way. Uh, the next bus stop is literally uh, the tower. And that is running that way. To be fair, a lot of buses, some buses do go around that down that way, uh, but normally they carry on straight. Anyway, that's how that's going. Is this literally going to go the back back that same way? No, it doesn't. So before we hit there, I want. I'm just going to stop it in the town centre. So this is going to be southbound. And then we'll let it go northbound straight to there. And then here. And that is literally line 22. It doesn't stop anywhere else along the route. Um, That is literally it. We could stop it elsewhere. Um... In fact, for here, I know it says elephants. We're going to... No, we don't want to go in that way. 
No, I don't want to go in. Okay. So I want it to go this way. And then up that way. So I'm going to route it the way it's meant to go. Um, in hopes that it follows system. So it goes up to here. Uh, after elephants. This way, no. We don't want it going that way. We don't want it going there either. So I want to utilize it going this way. There we go. Just so we can kind of angle it correctly. Um. Yeah, we'll follow the. We'll actually follow this all down as well. Just so it covers the net, the other bus network. Even though this isn't the way it actually goes. Do it this way. Um, then from tower. Um, I do want it going back up this way. We'll go it up this way. Yeah. the right way I know because it'll go that way won't it well we can still we'll still do it this way so it follows this all the way up okay And we'll skip past the the hospital. No, we won't skip past the past the hospital. Coming up this way, Lakeway. There. There. So we'll skip past the main hospital, but it will go this way round to the elephants. Then from the elephants, it will go back down here. And then follow this around here to here to here and then back. Yeah. So we've utilized it a bit better. So it's using main roads uh, for the majority of the trip. This way here is a bit piggledy piggledy, but it, it works. It'll work that way. Um, I wouldn't actually know which other way it would go, maybe up this way, but we'll utilize the original route it goes just so it makes more sense. And we'll apply that. And then this bus, how long it will take? It takes an hour to go around. Um, where is the midway point? these bites no it's where are we best bites so we'll go at half past and then it gives four minutes at the end so we run that every half an hour from seven till ten about from seven till nine thirty and it'll be every half an hour Oh, but in fact, we can do it every hour. So then it'll only be one bus on it. Because uh, it only really runs one bus as well. So, we... Day. Yeah. So if you preview the times, it literally one every hour. So it comes back at 10pm. Which, it, this, is, this is roughly how it works. Because that's... Basically, people have woken up at that time. They're going, wanting to get to 
get into town. So that'll do there. Perfect. And that runs every day. We'll confirm that. So will it ask for us to add one bus to that route? Yes, it will. So let's stick it on there and get a driver. So that'll add the last bus of the day on there. Perfect. Now, I'm going to... No, I'm not going to skip the number. I just need to bring up the information for the 24 so I can actually figure out the route it goes. Um... Uh, there we go. Okay. So, the line 24 starts all the way up in Fleetwood. So, the line 24... We'll leave it as the bus, the colour it is. It starts up here. Goes this way. Doesn't matter about the waviness. Um, uh, just seeing where it goes from here. Is it up this way? Yes. There we go. And then where does it go from here? This is that bit on the map. Where are we? Dominoes. So it goes this way. Then straight across. Down this way. That goes this way. I've literally got the map up on my... F no? Yeah. And it goes this way. Instead of it going down here, it goes this way for some bizarre reason. And then this way. So this is an old... Uh, I can't remember what service this used to be. But I know whichever bus service this used to be running on. Um... It. Where are we going from? Have I gone too far? No, I've not. It goes this way. Um, so whatever service this used to be, uh, no longer exists. Sadly, um, I think I've only gotten this bus ever once before it changed. Um. Up at the bus station. Yes, it does. So I'll carry on it down into the bus station. This way. Goes all the way this way. Uh, did I miss? Yes. So we'll stick that there so it goes to there. Goes up this way. Okay. So yeah, I only ever got on this bus route once that I can remember. Um But I can't remember what network used to do it, because this is a bit too far up north for 
goes around this way. All the way to here. Around this way. Till it gets to a main road. Where's this one? Yeah. No, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way again. There we go. There. And it carries on over this way. And this way. Okay. But yeah, this uh, I never used to go up this far north um, when traveling around. So it was definitely different. And then it goes around this way. To here. And then it follows this, yeah, it follows it round to the hospital. That's fine. So like I say, this is the way it would extend itself uh, in future from March. But we're going to get a bit ahead of it and get it going all the way this way. Then into the bus into the hospital okay, and then it would go this way I'm assuming it would go this way yeah Newton Drive but this bus will be a long wheelbase single decker Then it'll be going northbound. So it'll be stopping here to go northbound. And then we'll follow the route back this way as we would do. Okay. And we start the route back. So let, we'll have a look at what the timing points are. Well, we'll have a look at the route. And then we'll work out the timing points. Because obviously it'll be Christie's again. The timing points. When we get that implemented. But we'll literally implement in today all the Line 20 routes. And the next one is literally the 24 which I have said in the past, or oh, not the 24, this is the 24, is the 26. And like I said with the 26, um, what's it called? Like I've said with the 26, it's only a few stops anyway, but we want it to route it in a certain way like we had the 22 so obviously we made it go this way um there is actually i've not mentioned this before two bus stops here and two bus stops here one is northbound and one is southbound obviously so the southbound goes the southbound of each of these goes towards town the northbound goes towards this way for the 2c this way for the 24 and the two um so they do actually coordinate where the bus how the bus stops are there's about Five different bus stops in the town centre for northbound and southbound buses because there's that many buses that go through the town centre. Uh, they are utilised on the streets at the town that where I've placed them. Um, but obviously, it 
makes it a lot more easier for you to know what bus stop to go to. So there could be like 20 people stood at one bus stop instead of 100 people stood at a single bus stop. They can spread it out between the different bus stops. Um, no, I don't want to. Didn't want to add one there. Want to carry this up here? Okay. And then we get back to Poulton, which is the one-way system again. But we will stop it at booths. We'll stop it at lunchbox. And then carry it on up here. One day I will I do want to ride this twenty four. Um because I've never like I say, I've never been on this twenty four before. But it is um a route that I would like to to venture on. Okay, we'll carry on this way. Maybe even adding this bus, these bus routes in. I know it's it's gonna weird route system there, but it works. We won't complain. But we'll add them in correctly. And just follow the route all the way back. Okay. Now, I'm not actually sure how often this bus service, this bus network runs. Can have a look now. Apparently every hour. Starting off at 8 o'clock in the morning, it starts. Um... That would be for uh, that would be for today though, when I'm recording this. But it would be for a weekday, so it's every half an hour during the week. That's fine. We can we'll add it every half an hour uh, during the week if we can utilize this. Correctly. We'll add it every half an hour. And every hour on a weekend. But we do want to see how many buses it will take up. As well. This definitely goes all the way around, uh, around the houses. As I, as I say. Because I would never have thought going up this way for a bus route. I would have thought, just carry on straight down there. But obviously there's housing systems up here that need a bus route. Now remember, there used to be a... I think it was a line 15. And it would go through here, I believe. Um, Yeah, it would go through this bus... This stop here. Um, So yeah, that was a bus route at one time. But we're back into Cleveland's already, which is great. Get over to Cleveland's on map that I'm using as reference. Now it doesn't actually go back into the bus station, so we'll we'll run it around this way. And just skip out of the bus station because otherwise it's got to go all the way around, and that just adds time when people that want to go north know to walk over here instead. Okay. But as this goes all the way around the houses, like the line three and four, it is a. Well, it's a long wheelbase because it can actually go around here, but the route the line three and four goes, um, they are actually a lot more... The streets are a bit more narrower 
and the the corners as well. Um, like literally, it can be chock a block there. So that's why you can only use the single the short bus for it. But I have seen photos of the line twenty four running this route as a long wheelbase. So we should be fine with a long wheelbase on it. There is only four buses that are short wheelbases after this, which are the line 74, 75, 76, and 78. Um, but and like I say, we'll implement them um, going the future in the, into the future. But for now, we'll we'll implement the ones that we we go through. I've just realised where this is on the in real life now. Um, so yeah, I definitely have got on this bus before. Before it was the uh, line twenty four. Uh, this must be at least ten years ago. That I've utilized got on this bus. Um, but I can't remember what number it was. Because I know it wasn't Blackpool Transport. But I know the bus company that it used to run with went bankrupt. Um, and it's run as a Lancashire County Council system. So as we're implementing this as a line, um, in the game, you can actually implement certain routes. Or you have certain runs you can implement. Um, that would be a run that we would have to implement effectively for Lancashire County Council. But we're running it as a bus network, not a, not anything else. So that goes all the way up this way. Uh. And we're nearly finished. Only a few more bus stops left. Okay, Fleetwood Hospital and then Fleetwood Ferry. I'm hoping that hasn't just messed up where the bus everything okay i'm gonna have to delete a bus stop from this so let me just get the times implemented we'll start off at six till nine how long will it be on a bus route so it'll get back at 8.42. That'll be near enough two hours. 45 bus stops. So if we get rid of one of these bus stops here after so the second one after Marmalade Nursery... So, Marmalade Nursery, the second one. Confirm. Has that got it back to... So, every half an hour. Big day. We'll confirm it and then... Group manager. The line 18 is packed. Edit. So we need to delete a bus stop. Oh, no. We need to delete a bus stop. Um, just seeing what bus... If there's a just, just a stop called bus stop, we can get rid of. That one there. So it 
So it'll be after Russell School. Go all the way up to the top. Where are we? Russell School. Delete that bus stop. Because it'll still go that way. Uh, then Russell School on the way back. Are we? Russell School. So that one will be deleted. Okay, so it's showing on one page now. So this should be fixed. Okay. Not advanced. That's all in. So it's a hundred and so if you want to get it at one ninety, which would be I think. No. I don't know. Um major timing points. So Levy's bus station, we'll add three. And then the next one is Booths. Ah, we can't add one any timing points there because it literally goes on the hour. Um, then the next one after that will be oh, we've missed one. Where's the timing point that we're looking for? There. So we'll let that go at ninety. Then the next timing point would be Leave Lee's Bus Station. Leave his bus station. The second one. We'll put it up to fifty. And then it'll be seventy. So if you preview the timetable. Every half an hour, and by the time it gets back, it's just before midnight. So it gets back at 8.57, meaning it'll be on the 9 o'clock one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six buses on that network. That's quite a lot of buses. Um, however, like I say, it's a long wheelbase buses. Saturdays, we need to implement that one. So that'd be weekday... Weekend will start at seven, it'll end at nine. Same. Let's make sure we get the right bus to the timing points. First one is Cleveland's bus station. Weekend. Next timing point, I believe, is just town. Be there. That is literally to 90, wasn't it? Yep. And the next timing point on the way back is Cleveland's. Bus station to 50. So that's perfect. Yeah. And then, like I say, it's got a five-minute turnaround, and that is literally two buses. No, three still, because that'll go for ten. Yeah, that'll be three buses on that day. So we'll confirm that. Now we've got to implement the buses. Let's go to the shift scheduler. We need the long wheelbase buses. Get a random bus driver. Get a random bus driver. A random bus driver. Again.
Um, you're the lucky one today. Great, so that's all them implemented. How much have we made on the day? 202 again. Um, so yeah, that's the line 24, which are the long wheelbase buses, which, yep, goes around all the way around the houses to Polton, to here and here. Yeah, that's a lot of buses. Um, then what is our next bus route? Which, like I say, I think it was the 26. So line 26. And this one starts up here again. Now, I want it to utilize the correct route, or as correct a route as I know. This way. Yeah. But like I say, this is a circular route, so. It goes there um, and back. Getting lost a bit. So southbound to here, and then it goes all the way down the prom. To the Pleasure Beach. Okay. I'm going to go all the way around the back of the Pleasure Beach. At a bus stop there. Okay, and we'll go all the way around the back. Around this way. To here. And then we'll see which way it utilizes its way to get right the way back. Interesting. It goes through. It goes this way, which it doesn't actually do in reality. It goes this way. So which way is this going to go here? It goes that way, but because this is technically a motorway, it would have to go up this way. This way. And round. Perfect. So that'll be that utilised. Pause the time to get it on. So that'll start at 7 o'clock. That will do it 6.45. So 9.15. And it'll be every day. Uh, timing point would be there. How long does it get to go back? That's fine. It'll be 55. That's perfect. And we'll run it every 30 minutes. Let's have a look at the timetable. So it'll basically be in between every other one of the other bus. Yeah. So as this leaves at 6.45... The line 22. 
leaves every oh it's every 60 minutes so i'll change the other ones every 60 minutes as well i do it every half past as well so i do it 650 yeah Edit this so it's every hour. Every hour and it goes every 30. So this will literally only be one bus on here. Yeah. Right. Confirm. Will it add us to add a bus to that route? Yes, it will. Two. Okay. Let's go to the timer. Here we go. So there we go. Stick you two on. Uh, you're one bus driver. You're another bus driver. Perfect. So that is the all the line twenties added to the bus routes. That one's out of service. Where's that going to? Next toy's out of service. Line 17. Ah, so it's going all the way down there for the line 17. That's fine. Carrying passengers in a day. That's definitely one we need to get doing. I thought we were going to do it today, but obviously not. But all the buses are getting packed, as we can see. Have a look at bus route utilization. Obviously, these won't really show up because they take a while to get up there. But there you go. Twenty two is now in service. Twenty six will be in service in a second. By half past, and then the twenty one, wherever that goes in service. There you go. Twenty one's in. 22, 24, and 25. 26, I mean. There we go. All buses are in service. That need to be. Very nice. Obviously, line three and the fours, nothing really we can do. Um, if push comes to shove, if these are the two bottlenecks later on, we could look at changing them up. But let's come out of the map view, see how our staff are doing in the offices. Everyone is either using the toilets or having a nice rest, reading books, getting food. Yeah, it's quite nice. Let's see how have we done today. Two, two thousand, uh, 222,000 in a day. On a Sunday, obviously, we only did 50,000, which wasn't good at all. Uh, how are we doing on research? We can now research more east. So, which is what we need to do for future buses. Especially the stagecoach buses. We need to go as far east as we can. As that's going through. Staff-wise. Staff-wise, everyone is basically... Getting up and through things. How could we've only got 7,000? How much are we spending? Total expenses, 60,000. So we're basically breaking even for the day. With the buses. Let's go to just normal speed. That's what I want to see. Our ratings have gone up dramatically. 4.7. What about the wait times? Punctuality has gone down for some reason. 
So we need to fix that in the timetable tomorrow. But buses are starting to come back, so that means cleaning and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, we've implemented more buses today. We haven't effectively made more money today because obviously the punctuality uh, issue. But hopefully we can get all that sorted for tomorrow. Uh, pastures in a day is going up a lot as well. And obviously we implement another new line, no, four more new lines pop properly tomorrow. Uh, bring on our total bus lines. Oh, we can actually see here. Obviously some are 10. So I might have to reshuffle about some of these bus lines because obviously all these have got no buses. Um, so yeah, I'll go and reshuffle some of the buses for the times where they stop at places to make sure bus routes are running on time. Um, I'll get all bus because bus is cleaned off camera as well, uh, and we're going to tomorrow, um, which obviously implements all the new routes. That's what I want to look at, route manager. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen bus routes implemented right now. Which is absolutely crazy. Which ones are our big money makers? The line one. Right, big line five is a big big one. Line seven. And obviously the new ones are starting to earn a little bit little bits here and there. But punctuality of these buses I need to fix for tomorrow. And obviously if I fix it now before tomorrow, that means they should be implemented for tomorrow. Um But yeah, we've got one there that was fifty minutes late. Fifty minutes late, a hundred and six minutes late so we need to get all this sorted so they're not running stupidly late um and get them all sorted so hopefully you've enjoyed this enjoying the series so far obviously we're expanding a lot more we're getting we're so close to finishing every bus route apart from and then we can look into doing uh school bus routes and, and things like that but we have a massive company we have 25 bus routes. We're going insane. So leave a like, subscribe, and comment as well if you've got anything to say. Um, so thank you so much for enjoying the series.